Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Animal Crossing speed build. It's wonderful to welcome you all back, and I hope you enjoy watching this new video. Today we are actually going to be doing the uh, part one of the residential area. So I've decided that I want to make my residential areas into a miniature series within the speed builds, uh, simply because I did realise when I was creating this that actually there's a lot of potential when placing and decorating around the islanders' homes. And I did realise that if I took it a bit slower, I think I might come up with some more ideas. Uh, because I was a bit stuck when I was creating this area at the, the beginning. So I'm not sure if you'll notice in the video that there are quite a few changes. They're, they're small, but I do change a lot of things. And this was because I was a bit unsure as to what I wanted to do at the start. However, I think the final result turned out quite well and I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. I think so anyway, but it was fun to do um, and I hope you enjoy watching this part. Again, if you'd like to, please leave some feedback or a comment. Oh, I'd love to know what you think. But I decided uh, that what we're going to do is we're going to split it and take it a bit slow with the residential area just so I don't throw like 10 islanders homes at you. So um, I hope you enjoy this. This is actually the area for Lolly and Meringue. So I wanted to keep the area quite similar in terms of housing styles and have a bit of a cohesive style around them following the theme of the island. It was really interesting to do because I in my old island I never really explored a lot of like placement ideas with islanders homes I just sort of placed them in a block if that makes sense like in a plaza and doing this was actually a lot more interesting and fun and it definitely is an improvement on the last area I created I think so um, I'm, I'm quite pleased I think which I've already said but yeah um, so in the next part what we're going to do is we're actually going to maybe do a part two of the residential area however I think instead I might actually do a fruit orchard or in fact I'm going to do a woods or forest area behind this part simply because I do believe that we've done a lot of terraforming areas and there's a lot of mountainous parts of my island so I thought maybe a video where we do something which is quite flat um, and it shows you the development of like just a simple plot of land being turned into maybe a forest area would be quite interesting uh, so I think that's what we're going to do in the next part if not it'll be a part two of the residential areas uh, because these are really fun to build actually I'm, I'm really enjoying doing these animal crossing speed builds and I'm really quite pleased with how my island is turning out uh, it's so much fun and I do love the whole just starting over again it was so spontaneous deleting my old island and just beginning again and I don't regret it one bit I would say actually if any of you are having doubts about starting your islands again I would definitely act on those doubts because I acted on a doubt and I'm actually enjoying this so much more than I was my old island but I'm not going to stay here for long and talk to you for long because if I do I'll, I won't shut up <laughs> but I did want to leave just saying to say a massive thank you again for the amazing and incredible support I've received on my last two videos uh, I've only been back to YouTube for maybe two weeks now I think and the amount of support in the views, the likes, the comments and the subscribers has just blown me away. It absolutely means the world to me, uh, all the support that's been shown lately. Uh, it's, it, it's just, it makes me speechless, I'm a bit speechless to be honest. This last week was a bit difficult for me personally and just seeing all the lovely comments and the likes and the really positive response to my last two videos made my week so much better it really made my week the most amazing week i've had in a long time so i really wanted to say thank you all so so much it's a pleasure to have you here and i really do hope you're enjoying my journey our journey actually <laughs> as we recreate my island it's, it's so much fun and it's, it makes it a million times better when i have such lovely support as well it, it, it really makes it such a joy to make all these videos for you because it just, I don't know, it really does make me feel good. So thank you, thank you so much. Anyway, enough of me talking now. I'm going to go. I'm going to let you hopefully enjoy the video and the music too. But if you'd like to, please feel free to leave a like and a comment. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoy this part. And I will see you very soon in the next part. I'm thinking actually of instead of doing one video a week, I'm going to move on to two videos a week now because we're beginning to pick up a bit. So... Uh, with where we're getting with my island so I think maybe two videos a week might actually be a bit more because there's a bit more interesting because there's a lot of areas to do and yeah so anyway I will see you all soon 
have a great morning afternoon or evening and please stay safe out there still and yeah i will see you all in the next part which will be out very very soon have a great rest of the day and speak to you all later bye for now